Hi, welcome back to my channel Nest Bags and Cooks. Today I've come up again with another recipe that is how to make use of the bread crushed which are left over after we make use of the white part of the bread. So please watch my video till the end patiently so that you will not miss out anything. So let's get started. In this plate I have around 3 cups of bread crushed. I'm going to bake them in the oven for around 5 to 10 minutes and make them crispy. If you don't have oven, you can even roast it on the stove and make them crispy. But before I bake them in the oven, I'll break them into small pieces first. So you can see I have baked them nicely and they are super crispy now. So I'm going to use this for the recipe. I have placed a pan on the stove. Into this I'm going to add around 200 ml of fresh milk. I'm keeping the flame in medium. Into this I'm going to add around two tablespoons of cocoa powder I'm going to give a thorough mix into this I'm going to add around two tablespoons of sugar sugar you can add as per your taste and I'm going to add around 5 tablespoons of grated chocolate, brown chocolate, and 50 gram of butter. And this I'm going to boil for some time till it becomes a little bit thick. It's almost done now, so I'm going to switch off the gas and proceed to the next step. Here are the roasted bread crushed. This I'm going to put into this bowl. Now I add around 2 tablespoons of tutti frutti and around 2 tablespoons of desiccated coconut. Let's give a thorough mix now. Now I'm going to pour the chocolate mixture into this and mix the, all the ingredients very thoroughly. This is the mold that I'm going to use. I have spread cling wrap. Now I put the bread mixture. I'll cover it nicely with the clean wrap. In this way I have covered it. So this I'm going to keep it in the fridge for around 2 to 3 hours or until they are nicely set. Just now I have taken out from the fridge after keeping for 2 hours. I'll take out on the plate and show you. I have sprinkled some desiccated coconut on top and I have even cut a slice. I'll take out on a plate and show you. Here it is. It looks so chocolatey and yummy, isn't it? And I'm sure you'll try to make this recipe. It's very tasty. Please do try. So if you like watching my video, please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And yes, please do comment also. And Please don't forget to press the bell icon so that whenever I upload any new videos, you will get the notifications. Thank you so much for watching my video patiently till the end.